In this video, we will create features and components in the context of the assembly and we will add the remaining parts to the robot. If you zoom in on the mounting plate from the small SIM motor, you can see that the holes in it do not line up with the holes in the inner C-frame. You can create a new hole in the context of the assembly by using Extrude Cut, a feature you have used when creating single components. Right-click on the outside surface of the C-channel to start a new sketch. Click on the circle that defines the hole in the plate, then use Convert Entities to project it onto your sketch. Do the same for the second hole. Now go to the Assembly tab and under the Assembly Features drop-down, select Extruded Cut. Select Through All or Through All Both for the end condition and under Features Scope, check Selected Components. Uncheck Auto Select so you can choose which components to be affected by the feature. Now click on the C-frame and click OK. Complete the hardware by adding bolts and nuts to each of these holes and to the holes on the other bearing plate. You are now ready to add the battery. This will be attached to the mounting plate. To have a better visibility, right-click on the mounting plate in the graphics area and select Isolate. This will hide all of the other parts. Click Insert Component and select the 12V battery. You can use the one provided by us or you can download it from the 3D Content Central. To position it, add three coincident mates as follows. Instead of creating the battery mount separately, we can create it within the assembly. This way you can use the geometry of the battery in your sketches. Click the Insert Component drop-down and select New Part. Notice the new component added in the Feature Manager. Click the front side of the battery to start a new sketch there. You are now in the Edit Component mode. Go to Right View and using the Line tool create four lines as follows. Add collinear relations to make sure the lines are right on the edge of the battery. Then use Smart Dimension to set the length of the two outer lines to 1 inch. Use the Sketch Fillet tool to add three fillets. Simply click the three desired points and type 0.10 for the radius. Now click on Offset Entities to complete the sketch. Set the depth to 0.10 and hit Reverse if necessary. Using the Line tool, seal the open ends. Go to the Features tab, select Extruded Boss Base and add 4 inches for the depth. Switch the direction if necessary. The part is complete. Click Edit Component to exit and click Exit Isolate. Lastly, use the Mirror Components feature to add the two remaining bumpers. For the green one, select the right plane of the chassis as the mirror plane. And for the purple one, select the plane we created in the chassis. Congratulations, you have finished the robot. You can now use some of the features you learned to create new parts and add to it, or to create an entirely different robot.